Hi, I'm Victor from Divimundo.com and today we are going to change the mouse cursor on Hover in WordPress and we are going to choose from over 30 different default CSS cursors. Let's go! You'll find all the resources needed in this blog post on Divimundo.com and if you're watching this directly on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below. So let's start by scrolling down a bit, because here you have a nice CSS cursor cheat sheet with all the available CSS cursors. So if I hover these boxes, you can see that here's a scroll icon and you have a crosshair and you have the grab cursor, the help, we have the weight one, the spinner, zoom in, zoom out, etc. And I highlighted a few of them because these are the most used ones. So it's quick to find them. The first thing that we're going to do is to change the mouse cursor for an existing element. And in this case, I have embedded a post form from the plugin WPUF. And it's a nice plugin, but the form looks like something from Windows in the 90s. So I would probably want to style this with some custom CSS. And the button here, create post, displays the default cursor when I hover it. And of course, I want to have the pointer here, the hand icon. So I'll start by right clicking this button and choose inspect in my Chrome browser. And now we can see the code, the source code for this page. And uh, I can see that this button has the class WPUF submit button. So I'll copy that CSS class and I can close the inspector. And now I will go to the theme customizer. And from here, I will go down to additional CSS and I will paste the class and I will add a dot in front of it. And I will insert the brackets. And now I will point another cursor to this button. I'll start by typing cursor, colon. And now you have a list of different cursors that you can choose from. In this case, I want to use the pointer. So I could scroll down to this one, but it's a long list. So I could also just type pointer and a semicolon. And now I can test this from uh, the theme customizer. So I'll have to publish and I'll close it. And now we can preview it in front end. And as you can see, I now have the um, nice pointer mouse cursor when I hover this button. And this makes more sense to me. So in this case, everything worked fine. So we're good. But in some cases, you might notice that you add this CSS snippet and nothing happens. Then you might need to add an important in your CSS snippet. But only use this if the first one doesn't work. So this is kind of saying like, I really, really mean this. Okay. In this step, we are going to change the cursor with some inline CSS. So let's head back to our page. And I made a little text section here or a text module. You can see that when I hover regular text, you have text cursor. When I hover a link, you have the pointer. And here I have a ordered list. And here I just have a div tag with a regular text cursor. So let's play around and change the cursors here by editing the page. I'm using the Divi Builder to edit this, but this would work in any page builder. As you can see, it's pretty clean HTML here. So let's add some inline CSS. And first I want to change the mouse cursor on this link to see a help cursor. So I'll go to the A tag for the link and add a space. And now I type style equals quotation mark, cursor, colon, help, and a quotation, quotation mark again. And uh, as you can see here, we have a different cursor already. So let's go down to our ordered list, the one and two here. And I want to display a grab cursor for the first list item. So I have the li tag here, so I'll hit space and I'll add style equals quotation mark cursor colon grab. 
and now we can see the grab cursor here and um, you can use any of these cursor styles just copy and paste them and we have the other ordered list item here the number two so we have the second li style equals and what did i say there a progress spinner so the progress spinner let's see which one that was that's called weight so quotation mark cursor equals weight and a quotation mark let's see i did something wrong here style cursor ah sorry cursor column weight and there we have it and the last one here is a div tag and i want this entire div to display a move cursor div style equals quotation mark cursor column move quotation mark and now we can see that this div has a move cursor so let's exit and preview this one in front end we have this link which is a help cursor we have the first list item which is a grab cursor we have the second list item which is a progress spinner and we have the this entire div down here which is a move cursor and you can just play around with all these just don't forget your user experience so make sure that you use cursors that make sense for your users that's all for today let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way thank you for watching